This week, we're going to celebrate the things that God is doing in our midst. Philippians 1, 6 says that God is faithful to complete that which he has begun. And what I want to encourage us all to do this week is to take some time to recognize, even in the smallest ways, anything that God has been doing in your life, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, little choices that you've made that you know are new choices for you, or just recognizing what you have done to take captive this moment for Christ, or a moment last week for Christ, or a moment two weeks ago for Christ. I want us to take some time to really praise our God. Psalm 22, verse 22 says, I will declare your name to my people. In the assembly, I will praise you. Psalm 40, verse 5, many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done. The things you planned for us, none can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. I don't know what it is that makes us think that it's humility that keeps those wonderful things from bubbling out of us, from sharing with others. We think that if we share that I've lost some weight or I have made good choices this week, we think that that's pride. Certainly pride can take root when we start looking at ourselves. But when it's put in the context of declaring what God has been doing, he's doing a new thing. Do we not perceive it? Behold, it springs up. He's making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Let's recognize it. Let's Let's talk about it. Let's share it with one another. Psalm 51 verse 15 says, Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. We're talking about praising him for the way he is at work, to will and to do his good pleasure in our lives. Let's talk about that. This week, you guys are going to be the focus. You guys are going to be the ones doing the teaching and the sharing. I want you to share in the comments what God has been doing in your lives. I know he's at work. How has the renewing of the mind study been impacting you? What are ways you're beginning to see yourself think differently? What are you telling yourself that's different from what you would have told yourself in the past? What we tell ourselves, we begin to believe. And what we believe is what we will act on. And what we act on is going to begin to establish patterns in our lives. And those patterns are going to bring forth fruit. Well, let's talk about what are you telling yourself now? Psalm 96.3 says, Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among the people. That's a mandate for you and for me right now. What are some of his marvelous deeds that he is doing in our midst? Let's proclaim it. Whether it's weight loss, whether it's thinking differently, whether it's quiet time, whether it's truth cards that God has been using, bringing back to my memory in a moment, Wow, God, thank you that you're at work in my life and to share it with us. So let's declare among the nations what he has done in your life.